Project 52 is produced by the East Oakland Times. My name is Ravion Wooden, and my nickname people call me is Vital. The piece of my writing will be temptation within myself. My name is Ravion Wooden, a.k.a. Vital. I'm about to read you a brief poem and tell you a story. Doubt, shame, not belonging, pretend to be something I'm not. Push away the love, the ones I love the most or that love me the most. These are the temptations I face every day of my life. Tempted to be a certain person so I can be loved. I have doubt in myself. Feels like I'm not, not going to be nothing in life. Just a failure. The shame that caused my family, the disgrace of a son who embarrassed his family and went against his principle. Always feeling left out, being different because of the way I see the world through my eyes or my personality. Tempted to be love or finding that special someone to love, but pushing them away because I didn't want to get hurt. Now here's a story on bullying. Speaking of her, at the age of 10, entries into my life. She had a huge impact on my life, but the impact was negative beat me, spit on me, and worst of all, she shoved her foot down my throat. I came home with black eyes and bruised ribs. I was scared of her. She had power over me. Furthermore, people told me to tell my parents or the school principal. However, I was scared. Scared she might hurt me even more. One day on Halloween, she dressed up as a mistress and had a leash. And I already knew it was for me. She took me everywhere around her friends. Half her friends were laughing and others felt bad, but didn't do nothing. She told me I will always be on my knees when it comes to sitting down. I was beneath her, and when she yelled at me to kiss her feet, I'll do it. And it showed her friends she was the alpha. Finally, she told me my parents didn't love me and I would be better off dead. One of the main reasons why I always had doubt about myself, doubt about I'm here on this earth for a purpose, but I honestly believe my life wasn't worth nothing. I was worth nothing. I came to the conclusion that it would have been better if I wasn't born. My shame, the embarrassment I caused my family. I always gave my family's name a bad reputation. Also, I didn't live by my principles. I went back on my word. In school, I always felt like the outcast. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I didn't belong in certain groups because I was different. Through my eyes, I see the world like heroes and villains, and my personality is fantasy. Finally, I always wanted to be loved, also finding my queen who were born my kids, but I always pushed them away because I was scared to get hurt. Every day I'm in a battle with myself. This is why it's called temptation within myself. However, the more I reflect on my trauma and realize you couldn't control me no more, the moment I came to prison, I felt safe from you. I am no longer your slave, your dog, and I'm not that little boy who you manipulate, deceive, and telling me my parents don't love me, and I am worth nothing. All that was a lie. You knew I was desperate for love. I was lost, alone, hated, and neglected. You found me, a lost pup. You took me under your wing. I trusted you. I thought you was going to give me the love I always wanted, but you lied. Instead of loving me, you beat me, downgraded me, spit on me. All the black eyes and bruised ribs I came home with, not once did you ever tell me if I was okay. You never did care about me. The only times you ever thought about me and showed me that so-called love was when you was beating me, spitting on me, and shoving your foot down my throat. In my eyes, I was spiritually blind. 
I saw you as my goddess. You controlled me as I lived or died. In my heart, you was my judge. In my mind, you made all my decisions. And you was my creator. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You made me into something I am not. You created a monster, a traitor, and an evil person. But those days are gone. I am living my life how my way of thinking is changing. And I am no longer that stupid kid or the dumb kid in the class. I recently got my high school diploma, and I am moving towards college. I am a Shakespeare actor, and most importantly, I am me. That's the greatest freedom. I embrace myself. I have faith in myself, and I believe in myself. When the day comes and they open these cages, I know I'm going to be somebody in life. But honestly, thank you for beating me, spitting on me, all the downgrading stuff you did to me. It made me stronger than ever, not just physically, but mentally as well. Also, I have a God that believes in me and is my creator. He's been here for me since day one, and I never was alone. I met a new family, a family that believes in me. Moran Shakespeare, Apep, and Edith Graham. These people in these groups, they believe in me. They support me, and they love me. Other people who hate me, talk about me behind my back, and don't talk to me because I want to change my life and be me, forget them too, because they hate what they can't conquer. We are all in a battle with ourselves, a prison of our own making. Though I am physically locked up, you had me in prison mentally. However, the moment I stopped fighting myself and trying to be like everyone else and actually embrace, have faith, and love myself, because when I believe in myself, then inward and outward, I am free. And I won't see prison as a bad thing or my life is over. And also as a roadblock, but I'll see it as an opportunity. The moment I realize I am free and that I embrace myself. Here's a quote by Steve Merrill that I live by every day of my life. My scars tell stories, stories when life tried to take me out, but failed. Steve Marvin. Now you know who I am and what I have been through. Thank you. Project 52 is produced by the East Oakland Times.